So here's a 120 gallon update. Leak and all. Hmm. So if you're new to the channel and you're interested in this kind of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to see more of my upcoming videos. Let's go take a look at my 120. So this is what it looks like today. My L177 is doing very well. She's usually hiding. My L128, he doesn't hide as much. The rest of the tanks mostly rainbows, Australian rainbows, turquoise rainbows, Bosmani rainbows. I have about 10 clown loaches. And I got a Viaje pair. Viaje Baradi. I'm probably butchering that name. But I was trying to get pictures of them, so I put this Onip, Sarah Onip, on the side. All I see is the plexiglass all scratched up. <laughs> Got some valves in. I got some oh, what did I get? Java fern, water wisteria. My log is still not waterlogged. <laughs> All nerfed. Nothing. I saved these tags so I could remember what they were. I got a couple different Anubias. Uh, this Bulbitis I got was so tiny that I don't even know if it was going to make it. I like these Viajes. These cichlids, it's a pair. There's the male, and then here's the female. And I've always had a, a love for these clown loaches. I'm really liking the rainbow fish. The Bosmanis and the, super, the red ones. I have two different kinds of red ones. I like this one. So I noticed the tank is all cloudy, and I figured the pump died again. So I went out and got another pump, and now I'm going to replace it. But when I go down under the sump area to replace it, I can't even, I can't even believe what, I can't even. Susie Q here and I'm trying not to panic. Ah, I'm really trying not to panic. I went to change the pump on my brand new, well, it's used, my brand new 125 gallon in the sump it was leaking. So it looks like this seal here is leaking. That's where the water is coming from. And this is my 125 gallon sump. There's water, water, water. Yikes, yikes, yikes. So I turned off the pump and now I'm trying to empty the sump so I can work on it. So I grab my python and start draining the sump. You see that hole there? Let me show you what he had to plug it. There it is. <clears throat> he had this in here. So I'm going to have to try to remove all the silicone and start over, break the sump to get it out. Do I trust the sump if I silicone it? And there's five other patches on this sump. <sighs> Trying to figure this out. I don't know what to do. So I'm just gonna look at my fish tank for a while. Looking at my fish and my fish tanks always helps to center me. Although I couldn't stop thinking that this one was losing water. <laughs> okay, I'm filling up my tank. I put the little band-aid on it. I don't know if we can see it in here. Probably not. So far, no water. I'm very nervous, I have to say. I'm very nervous. Ugh. Of course, this happens during the middle of a snowstorm in Nor'easter, so I, everything was closed. I wanted to get like a bulkhead. There's one inch holes drilled into this dry sump and 
I'm not going to be nervous. I'm going to trust the system. I'm going to give it a few minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can't do this. <laughs> Guys, you have no idea. <laughs> I am so nervous right now. Everybody is saying, you can't put that big of a tank up on the second floor. Blah, 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 blah. How am I supposed to sleep underneath it? I'm going to get drowned. Blah, 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 blah. And then it happened. <laughs> Whew. Let me go see if there's any water. So far, it's actually dry. on the light. Hey buddies. I was using this. It was so pathetic. I tried putting a hang on back. It would not go over the rim. And since I couldn't get it down low enough, it doesn't work. Then I tried putting it in the overflow. It didn't fit in there. I don't know if you can see a little 10 gallon. Absolutely does nothing. So I had the air on. That's about it. I guess this is how you learn. You experience it. You go through it. I posted some, uh, got some great feedback. So thank you guys. You guys are awesome as usual. So I got my bio balls here. I got some foam here. Polyfill over there. The next chamber. This chamber pump has this big huge foam on the end. Not to suck up debris and catch more beneficial bacteria. And now that I have a decent pump, I might be able to do something else with this side. That's what I'm thinking. The tank is very cloudy. I thought I cleaned out the filter super, super good before I turned it on. But. So I'm doing my update on this tank because I was doing a update on this every month to see the changes when I first got it for Christmas and how I cycled it, how I built my sump. Yeah. Now it's all used, so I expect things to go wrong. I just wasn't expecting that sump to start leaking. Stay tuned for more updates on this tank. I am really loving my Christmas present. Thanks guys. Yeah.